such a great performance there by Mary Sarah. Yeah. Welcome back to Houston Life, everyone. The weather outside is cooling off just a bit, so it is a fantastic time to get out and about. Yeah, this weekend is going to be absolutely amazing. So to help you plan your weekend ahead, here are the Houston happenings. And first up, we've got sports. The University of Texas Longhorns take on the Oklahoma Sooners tomorrow at 11 a.m. at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. The Big 12 matchup is always exciting in the annual Red River Showdown. And by the way, this game has been played in the Cotton Bowl Stadium since 1929. I've actually gone to this. <laughs> Pretty amazing, making it an iconic staple of the Texas State Fair. Oh, the State Fair is so much fun to go to as well. Now, the big game in College Station tomorrow as number eight ranked Aggies take on the number nine ranked Vols. Kickoff is between the Tennessee Volunteers and Texas A&M Aggies at 2.30 p.m. Boy, is that going to be an exciting game tomorrow over there in College Station. Without a doubt. Now, the Dynamo play at home on Saturday night. The game starts at 7.30 p.m. at BBVA Compass Stadium. They're going to take on the Colorado Rapids. Tickets start at 24 bucks. And for more info, you can visit HoustonDynamo.com. And, well, the Dash didn't have such a great season, but you can still catch some soccer from the National Women's League Soccer Championship. is Sunday at 4 p.m. at BBVA Compass Stadium. The Washington Spirit will take on the Western New York Flash in the championship game. It's going to be a huge game over there. Tickets start at $30, and for more information, you can visit Houston-Soccer.com. Young the Giant is making a stop on their home of the Strange Tour tonight at Revention Music Center. Jam to the eclectic tunes of this indie rock band starting at 8 p.m. Tickets start at $27. And for more info, you can visit ReventionMusicCenter.com. All right, Derek, I know you're a big TLC fan. Yeah? No scrubs? Wait, are you asking waterfalls? me to sing it? Yeah. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Listen to the whatever. I don't remember the rest. No one wants to hear me sing. All right. Well, they're going, the TLC is going to be performing tomorrow night at the Arena Theater. You can tell we're huge fans. And those are just two of the hits uh, that the 70 million album-selling supergroup TLC will probably perform. Show starts at 8.30 p.m. Tickets start at 37 bucks. And for more information, just visit ArenaHouston.com. Opa, the original yeah. Greek festival. I mm, love a good Greek festival, by the way. They're celebrating their 50th anniversary this weekend. You can do the chicken dance, take a tour. Oh, you got to do the chicken dance. Not right now. Oh, come on. You do it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and that's enough of that. No, <laughs> no kidding. You were really good. You can also dine on Spanakopita, Euros, and, of course, baklava. Oh, my favorite. The festival goes until 10 p.m. tonight, but don't worry if you miss it. You can also go... Saturday and Sunday, 11 to 10 on Saturday, and noon to 6 p.m. on Sunday at the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Cathedral. Tickets start at 5 bucks, and for more info, you can check out greekfestival.org. And we have a ton of festivals going on this weekend, including the fourth annual Houston Afri Fest. It's 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. tomorrow at the Houston Baptist University. It is $5, but it is free for kids, students, and seniors. Celebrate the rich and diverse cultures of Africa with music, cuisine, artwork, and more at this festival. For more information, just visit namchouston.org. And you can check out some canines doing tricks, flips, and more tomorrow at Sugarland Town Square. Houston Disc Dogs will wow you with their skills from 12.30 p.m. to 2.45 p.m. We've had them actually here on our show on Houston Life. They are so much fun They're to fantastic. watch. They're so great. And there's even a meet and greet with the pups right after the show. Sounds pretty doggone fun if you ask me. Get it? And <laughs> it is a free event, so for more info, visit SugarlandTownSquare.com. And if you are planning a wedding, then you want to get inspired by wedding and entertaining expert David Tatera, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Sunday at the Georgia R. Brown Convention Center. Tickets for your wedding experience start at 15 bucks. And for more information, you can visit WeddingExperience.com. Now, let's send it on over to Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Fraser for your weekend movies. This week, Emily Blunt stars as a woman who becomes involved in trying to solve a mysterious disappearance while battling her own personal demons in The Girl on the Train. I saw her. I saw her from the train. Emily Blunt plays Rachel, a woman who inserts herself in a mystery after a young woman she becomes obsessed with watching from her train ride goes missing. Blunt went anti-glam to play a character struggling with divorce and an alcohol addiction and played up her ugly side for the role. We had a, had a really amazing makeup artist. I had things like a full contact lens that covered my whole eye so that it bloodshotted the whites of my eyes and it was various different fun tricks. She was 
was also pregnant towards the end of filming, which she kept hidden in its early stages, but her friend and co-star Justin Thro guessed the secret before anyone else knew. Rachel, why are you here? He like pulled me aside. He was like, are you pregnant? <laughs> and I was like, yes. <laughs> All she had to do was like get up off the floor and kind of run just like Ten, five or ten feet, and she was like, uh, "Nah, I gotta, I gotta twist my hip or something." You know, later that day we went back to my place or something, and she was not having a cocktail. And I was like, "Are you pregnant?" And she was like, <laughs> "Why are you here?" Because I'm afraid of myself. For our entertainment tonight, I'm Kevin Frazier. Now back to you in the studio. Oh, I cannot wait to see Girl on the Train. I read the book, and I want to see if the movie lives up to we'll the see. hype of the book. Downloaded the book last yeah. night. All right. Get excited, folks. We have got some pet adoptions. Yay! We've teamed up with the Houston SPCA to help some animals who are in need of a home. And first of all, we're going to start with a success story. Uh, this is just so cool. I want you to meet Penny. Now, she first came to the Houston SPCA in July 2014 as unfortunately part of a hoarding case. Oh, wow. When the Houston SPCA oh. investigations team found out Penny was living in really bad conditions yeah. she at just a year old she had actually given birth already to two tiny puppies she spent a month in the shelter while still nursing her babies and then after two weeks in foster care penny and her puppies they did come back to the houston spca ready for adoption and you know because of her little joyful nature oh she's so playful in that picture she caught everyone's attention and in september of 2014 uh, she was adopted and just so wonderful to see from such a tragic situation of being in a hoarding case to yeah. now a happy home and just fabulous to get that success story. Happy ending to Penny's story. And you're not going to meet Penny in studio today. You're going to meet a dog who is probably even cuter, if you can believe it. Yeah. This pet is ready to find a home. Say hello to Aww. Susie. And, of course, we have Carrie McKeel <laughs> from the Houston SPCA who is joining us. Hi, Hi Carrie. Welcome back we gotta, to this We got to turn you. Susie around so everybody Hi, can yes. see that sweet little face. Yes, and this is Susie. She is just, oh. you know, the sweetest as they come. She's got a great, great disposition. Um, you know, we don't know much about her backstory, but um, we do know that her, her former owner couldn't afford to keep her. Um, so that's why she's at the Houston SPCA, but she's a wonderful dog. She's crate trained. She's, um, you know, housebroken. So what kind of family would be a good home for Susie? Oh my gosh. I mean, she would be a great family dog or she'd just be a great companion for a single individual. I mean, she's just, you know, just a very mellow, happy-go-lucky dog. She's also very friendly. Before the yeah. show, she came running up to me and... I couldn't help but give her <laughs> yeah. some cuddles. Now, it's yeah, also National Adopt-A-Pet Month, is that right? Adopt-A-Shelter Dog Adopt Month. Adopt-A-Shelter yes. Dog Month. Yes, so we're really focusing on shelter dogs this month and trying to find a lot of them homes. And we've got a great promotion going on with BarkBox and Papa John's Pizza. And if you adopt a dog, you get a free pizza and you get entered to win a prize from BarkBox. Somebody please adopt that Susie. Is so she is so great. sweet. Just a love dog. That's what you call a love dog. If yeah. you want to adopt Susie, actually, Susie. you can visit HoustonSPCA.org. Carrie McKeel, thank you so much. Thank and you. Susie, you're going to find a good yeah. home. I know it. Yeah. You will. <laughs> so, so cute. cute.